Welcome to the world of Weatherby. I'm Brett, and this is my world. Today is what I'm doing, is I'm doing a roasted spaghetti squash bournese. And we're gonna start it here in this uh, Dutch oven. I have some onion in here sauteing, and it's translucent as it is. I'm gonna add some banana peppers to it. They're the sweet ones, sweet banana peppers. And I'm gonna put some uh, celery in it. And it's what made me decide to do this is because we've had some fresh stuff out of the garden. We got the spaghetti squash. We have some homegrown tomatoes that we uh, boiled in some water uh, for 30 seconds before we could peel them and then we diced them all up. And we have a little bit of a yellow tomato and a red tomato. But we're gonna start it here. And then uh, once I get all of this ready and get it sauteed and add the meat to it and stuff and put it all together, then we're gonna move it out to the smoker because we're gonna let it sit inside the smoker for about an hour. And then we're gonna add the spaghetti sauce off to the side for it can absorb a little bit of smoke. We aren't gonna give it too much, just a little bit. Uh, just to help it with some flavors. We're going to use our bold and spicy on in, the, in our concoction, the bolognese. And I probably put a little bit of um, iron rub on top of the spaghetti squash. Um, you know, as you know, I don't use much salt, so uh, that'll give it a little bit more flavor. I'm a garlic guy, and we have some fresh garlic out of our garden this year. That is just spectacular, juicy, and we're just, you know, we got all kinds of flavors going. Uh, but that's about it. So we're gonna saute this uh, and let it become, and then we're gonna add some, or we're gonna add some carrots to it, and we're gonna let them soften up a little bit, and then we're gonna add our ground meat to it, two pounds of ground meat. And I'll go over the ingredients or post it with this video where you all can see it and you can follow it. You can do this all in your stove, on top the stove and in your oven, but it's hot, we're running an air conditioner. So let's put it out on the smoker uh, and do uh, keep the heat out that way. And that way I can do some other things out there and kind of keep an eye on it also. And I'm not running back and forth. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and brown up some ground beef in another skillet because I want to be able to drain any of the grease off it. We don't like a bunch of damn grease. We got two pounds of ground beef. It's uh, about an 81 19 uh, mix, so there won't be a whole lot of fat in it but I'd rather that fat not be in all my veggies that we have over here. So we'll get it browned up and then we can add it to the veggies. Just a lot easier that way in my personal opinion versus putting it in here with the veggies. Uh, Cause we're gonna add some garlic to this here shortly. And then we're gonna add our other ingredients in there, which is the tomatoes, some white wine, a little bit of water, some tomato paste, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, actually a whole lot of pepper. And we're gonna add some of our bold and spicy to it. And we have some, I believe it's thyme, and a little bit of nutmeg. Like I say, I'll post this up with the video so you all can see it. Okay, now we got our spaghetti squash. Is what we're going to do is we're just going to split it down the middle. And these things look a little tough at times. Let's see if I can cut my finger off again. I've been doing that a lot lately. Now 
Now we have to see your spaghetti squash. And it's pretty simple. You just take your take a big spoon and stick it in there. And scrape it out. Alright, so now that's done. We're gonna add a little olive oil to them. A whole lot of olive oil to them. We got our island rub. And you just want to rub it down, get that olive oil all on the outside of that, inside there. Rub it around good. You do this even if you're putting it in the oven. Uh, put it on a cookie sheet, put some uh, parchment paper on it, or put some um, Reynolds wrap, aluminum foil, whatever, whatever you got. Now I'm just going to kind of sprinkle this all over there. And this, this will get inside the, the meat of the uh, spaghetti squash. And it'll take about an hour at 300 degrees outside on the smoker. But that's all I'm doing to it. And it is, it's all ready. All right, now we're gonna add our, uh, our garlic. But before I do that, I think that's what I wanna do is I wanna add some of our bold spices to the hamburger, the ground meat. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that across there. That'll give that a little flavor as it cooks. Now be careful, remember it has cayenne pepper in it. Uh, but you know, it will give this Italian dish a little Cajun flair. Let's see how things roll around here. So, you can see the fresh garlic. I got this whole little thing called tubbed up in it. And we're going to add that. And we're going to cook it 30 to 45 seconds, probably. Just uh, until it kind of, you can smell the fragrance coming up out of that pan. This is what you call a fairly low carb meal. I'll keep your fingers. Yeah. Alright, that uh, garlic, I can start to smell it coming up out of this pan. So, I think is what I'll do. Good. Our burger is done. So we want to transfer that over to our Dutch oven. Make sure you drain that grease off because that's the whole purpose of using a different pan. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to add our tomato paste, and it's kind of a reddish color, and it's what you want to do is you want to cook that until it kind of browns up a little bit. You don't want to burn it; you just kind of want it to darken up. You just want to cook that long enough, like I said, from where it goes from a that red color to a rusty color and now we're going to pour in a cup of our dry wine i don't know what you call dry and all that so i just went and picked up some cheap wine <laughs> and i want to cook this until that wine reduces in half which won't take long And then we're going to add nutmeg, some uh, thyme, fresh thyme, some pepper. We already did the garlic, so we don't need to add any more garlic. Uh, and a little bit of, I use kosher salt, probably a half a teaspoon. And we're going to add that to this. Throw our tomatoes in, add some milk to it, a whole cup. And it's whole milk. It's not half milk, it's not 1% or anything like that. It's whole milk. Remember, when you were a kid, that was what we drank. So let's use the real stuff today. I think we're going to add the milk first. Just kind of pour it around there. And they give it a creamy flavor, I'm sure. Uh -huh. It's looking good. 
And now is what we're going to do with this is it'll go out on the smoker. We'll put the lid on it, on this Dutch oven, and we'll let it cook on the smoker. The smoker set at 300, and we'll cook it for two hours out there. And after the first hour, we're going to add the spaghetti spot the squash that we seasoned up next to it out on the grill. So when it's all said and done, we can actually take a fork and scrape that spaghetti squash out on each individual plate and then dump some of the birdies on top of it. And you got your dinner. But we're gonna add some more bold and spicy. I don't know any other way to measure this stuff, but in my hand because that tells me what I want. And there's all kinds of flavoring in this stuff. But like I say, you gotta watch it because it does have cayenne pepper in it. And I would say after the first hour, you might wanna pop the lid off this and just make sure that you have plenty of water in it, uh, moisture. If you don't, go ahead and add a half cup. Uh, three quarters cup, whatever you feel like it needs. So, our next step is heading to the smoker. Alright. Alright. It's about that time to check this stuff out and put the spaghetti squash on. Smelling good. I'm just going to put this squash in here just like this. We're going to cook it for an hour. You saw it out on the saran wrap. We got some island rub on it. And we're gonna put on them beat up gloves. We're gonna pull this lid off. It's looking good. Don't think I need to add any water. I might think I come in over here and get you a zoom in on it. It smells awful. <laughs> Actually, it smells awful. Spaghetti squash and Bernese. As you can see, the sun is already set. And I guarantee you this stuff is done now. Spaghetti squash took a little longer than I suspected, but that's the way it is. Thank God I'm not feeding a group of people because I've been shit out of luck. Anyway, we're getting ready to pull it off. And I'm going to show you this, and you will see it all. And it's what we're going to do is we're going to pull this spaghetti squash off, and we got some fork. Then we're going to scrape it. We're going to scrape it right out of that shell. We got our seasonings in there. Look at that. Looks good. Then we got the Bernese sauce and uh, hamburger and everything we're going to put right on top of it. That's how we'll serve it up. Got to keep scraping it. It just shreds it. Some people actually eat spaghetti and meatballs with this. That's why it's called spaghetti squash. Guys, what I'll do is I'll put this on a plate, and then we'll put the Bernini sauce on top of it. And then we're gonna eat good. We're gonna eat damn good. <laughs> Clean up this mess and eat some good food. Remember, share our YouTube page, subscribe to our YouTube page, uh, share our Facebook page, and most importantly, go to weatherbyrubs.com and visit our store. And I think that's about it. It's late, I'm hungry, and it's time to eat. So, until next week, send me your questions. Send me 
your response to my videos. Tell us how you love us. Tell us how you hate us. It doesn't matter. And remember, stay safe. Watch out for the COVID.